So, wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Hey everyone, I'm Crazer. And I'm Chewy. And, and uh, today we got uh, Snake versus Gordon Freeman. Yep. Uh, let's, let's go from the top, I guess. Right, so, uh, personality and backstory. Um, I gotta side with Snake on this one. Because Gordon Freeman does not talk. He does not talk. Which means that his personality is pretty much zero right off the, the bat. So yeah. that's an instant category lose for him. <laughs> you, the backstory, backstory is okay. It's not yeah. nothing special. It's kind of, it all depends on what you prefer. Because I kind of like the characters who come out of nowhere and be total badasses. It, it is, um, it's not a bad backstory. It's yeah. a pretty solid setup to the game. But uh, com just compared to Salt Snake's backstory about being a clone of the greatest soldier of all time, and probably even in succeeding that mm. throughout the, like all his games, definitely better than what yeah. Gordon Freeman's got to show. So, yeah. uh, no one, argument there. One for Snake, and you know, one for Snake. Uh, achievements. Uh, gotta say this one could go both ways. That can, yeah. This, this one's a little tougher. I, I'm gonna still root for Snake here. I, I mean, my bottom line is, although they both like. Fought a whole load of guys. They uh, well, both, I guess, saved the world mm -hmm. pretty much. Uh, I gotta say that Snake foiled the more elaborate of the two plots. Yeah, but then again, you you have basically one man fighting off an entire alien invasion, and it is only because of him that humanity still has a chance. If you look at Half Life, Half Life Two, he goes away from the beginning, then he comes back, and humanity's like, we have a chance now. And from a guy who basically comes from nothing to do something like that, I think that's a pretty good achievement in and of itself. Um, well, you are right there. I gotta say that Snake does pretty much the exact same things. Minus aliens, replace them with soldiers, but I don't think that makes his accomplishments any less real because, you know, soldier, highly trained soldiers with guns are pretty damn dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, not to mention, I'd say his... All well, the Rays too, eh? The Ray and Rex? Yeah. Oh, well, obviously, he fights giant machines with mm. machine guns and rocket launchers, which yeah. is also pretty damn impressive. But what I gotta say is that Liquid's plot, Liquid was like a, just straight up a great uh, strategic master. I mean, in all the games, his plot to overthrow the Patriots was just brilliant. And mm. pretty much only because of Snake, much like Gordon Freeman was the only one who could save the world, same with Snake. Like, I'd like to say that these are both equal, however, there was more planning in Liquid's plot than the alien invasion, mm -hmm. so I gotta say that Snake foiled the bigger of the two plots. I, I would agree. I, I, I would say it's not really that clear cut, but I would say that Snake does win it. Alright, so Iconic Value, now very tough again. Oh you uh, have basically one of the best shooters, the best first person shooter of all time in Half-Life, in Half-Life 2, Episode 1. And episode two, like four of the best shooters of all time, and people are still clamoring for episode three. Uh, that's with that said, I mean Metal Gear Solid. That game is the definition of like classic. Like when you the P it defined the PS One. Never mind Castlevania or Final Fantasy. Metal Gear Solid defined the PS One, and it continued to define the PS Two and the PS Three with like just outstanding games. Snake as himself is an icon. I mean he's been around since the NES. Years, I mean, uh, I bet he wasn't uh, very big back then, but he was still around. And I'd say just because of that, we, we got to tie this one. I mean, they're both yeah. just massive. I mean, yeah, dude, console gamers, Snake, but PC gamers, Gordon that Freeman. That PC is basically Gordon Freeman. Yeah. So Gordon Freeman is StarCraft. So, yeah. so I guess we, we got to tie this category, giving mm -hmm. 0.5 to each. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I guess it's uh, Snake win, then. Snake it? does win, but... Let's do the last one. Yeah, no, we gotta do the last yeah. one. Um, I don't know. I kind of still think uh, Gordon would win in a fight. I definitely disagree with that. I mean, you could say maybe Gordon has a better arsenal. However, I gravity don't. gun. Gravity gun. You basically can make a weapon out of anything. Yeah, but uh, if we're talking about supernatural weapons, Snake does have the mantis and sorrow dolls, which let him control people. So, 
That's. Well, I think that's better than turning anything into a weapon because yeah. you can just take control of free right off the bat. But if we're just gonna stick to standard, uh, you know, assault rifles, pistols, crowbars, yeah. uh, well, up and close. Close yeah. quarters, Snake definitely has the advantage. He's a master of close quarters combat. Yeah. Over, well, just put it this way: Snake is a soldier, and Gordon Freeman is a physicist. Well, Epic physicist, but yeah, no one can Still a physicist. Snake was born to be the best, and he is the best. Well, I can't, we can't really say genetics really have a factor, but training. Well, I say training at, in, well, in and of itself. I mean, just a little uh, spoiler alert for Metal Gear Solid. So if you guys still haven't played it, just warning right now. Him and Liquid were both clones of Big Boss, and Liquid was the superior one. Yeah. He did triumph, well, so he did, basically beat his own genes. Mm -hmm. He was inferior and, like... No, wasn't it the recessive genes? And yeah, he was recessive, it? but like they uh, listed in the game as uh, the inferior genes. I I just think that I don't I see what you're coming from, but yeah, you know what? Snake wins regardless. Yeah, that's for sure. Why are you those schematics of it? So, right. so uh, I guess that's what three point five to point five for Snake. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Snake moves on to the next round. I'm Crazer. I'm Chewy, and we'll see, see you guys next time.